morning to you and we are off on another journey with Travel with Simon and oh my goodness why do my bags always fall off the trolley? I think is it my bags or is it the way I drive a trolley or is it the trolleys? Anyway we are starting another journey today there we go and we are off to somewhere sunny and warm. Now I'm starting my journey at Joburg Airport Interesting thing, it's a nice busy airport. First thing is to find out where to go. This is when you go to every airport. I mean, there's just chaos everywhere. Where do you go? So, after finding out where I'm going and finally realizing I've got plenty, plenty time to check in, like four hours, my next port of call is to go and get some food and uh, organize my bags. Which, as you can see, I always carry way too many bags. I must do something about that. And let's get some to eat. Thank you very much. And then it's off to check in. First of all, negotiate the escalators with bags and trolley, find your check in counter, and as usual, yes, it's always at the other end of the hall. It's never right where you arrive, is it? Business class? Nope. Premium class? Nope. In that check-in? Oh, good old economy class. Then browse through some of the souvenirs that you wanted. Do people really pack these in their bag? Really? Hello. <laughs> um, alone or are you with alone. the other? Alone? Yes, sir. And why do you, why do you want to be exclusively alone? Uh, because I'm pregnant, so I want to capture this. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. Get to know the locals a bit better. More useful souvenirs, mugs. Now that's something I couldn't fit in a backpack. Um, it's always fun to look through what local souvenir shops have at thing. This is a local taxi. I'm not sure what happened to the driver. I'm not sure I really want to take that taxi, but the guys are celebrating, so that's fine. Also, something else they probably wouldn't take home to most places a dead skin. Got through passport control, got my ticket. Now it's just waiting. My airport lounge is right here. Oops, sorry. About half an hour now before my flight boards. Singapore! It's Singapore. It's some it's now six in the morning, but it's actually midnight. Transfer to the next plane. Which leaves in half an hour. So let's go. No sleep on the plane. Oh, 11 hour flight, no sleep.
to my hotel room. Oh, it's been some long flight and some delicious food and a quick peek at Bali. But now I need some sleep and that bed looks comfy. Good morning to another beautiful day. Ah, and as you see, as you can see, didn't stay in Bali. I'm just there overnight because now I'm heading out to one of the islands, an island called Nusa Panida. My first stop is Sanur, which does have some beaches where you can lay and tan, top up that tan, get a nice golden glow. But main, the main reason for coming to Sanur is that there's lots of boats here lead to various islands that are a little bit quieter than the island of Bali. I will be spending some time in Bali, but I wanted some peace and quiet. Now, there's Lombok, which is a big island, the Gili Islands, which is three islands, and the one I'm going to, which is called Nusa Panida. Something you will encounter all over Bali is what this lady is doing. She's putting down an offering, which the Hindus do, it's a daily offering. It's what's called Kanang Sari. It's a little basket made of coconut or palm leaves with a small offering in it. It's usually part of their food, some rice, sometimes flowers, sometimes some small coins. And this is a daily offering by all the Hindus. You'll find these scattered all over the place. As you can see, this lady is just placing hers on the beach outside where she works, her little restaurant or stall. Now, just a tip, you shouldn't stand on them or walk over them. So if you find them on the pavement or when you're walking along, just walk round them. It always pays to be respectful to all the people you meet in all the countries we travel. It's one of the reasons we go to these places, to find out these things. Goes in my bag. Don't drop it in the water. Okay, my bag's on the boat. Take it with the rest of the luggage. Pick up my other bag. Get on the boat myself. I'll take my shoes off. I'm not getting my feet wet. But then we're off to Nusa Panita. <laughs> Take a short walk up this little road here to the main road and find your resort. Now, if you've arranged a lift, they'll be waiting for you at the boat. If you want a lift, there's plenty of bikes and cars waiting at the boat to take you to wherever you want. Just negotiate a price. I think I haven't got far to go, so I'm going to walk it, even though it is blazing hot and I forgot my hat, but I got my shades. Let's go and find my accommodation. I think you can rent motorbikes at the port as well, they're a bit more expensive. I'm gonna hope my accommodation can sort me out with that. Here we go. 
here is the main road, shall we say. I think, according to my map of directions that I showed you earlier, on Google Maps, I have to go this way. If I can manage it without getting run over. Oh, we're on Nusa Panida! At last, really nice to get here. From Bali, transfer to Sanu. Sanu, got the fast boat across to Panida, Nusa Panida, whichever port. Skip the uh, drivers and the uh, scooters at the port because my accommodation isn't too far, so I'm hoofing it on foot. But it's warm, oh, and it's so beautiful as well. I mean, it's uh, even at the port, it looks really gorgeous. So let me uh, just show you this. There we go. So peaceful, just with the passing tourists on their scooters. Woo. Ah, so there we are. We are on Nusa Panida. Now if you want, at the port you can get a motorbike, taxi or a car taxi that will take you to accommodation. So if you don't know where you're going or it's a bit of a hike or you've got lots of bags, and why you just grab a taxi but negotiate the price before you get in the taxi. There's plenty of them, so just negotiate a decent price. If you can ask the resort beforehand roughly what price it should be, then you've got a guide. But I'll try and find out some uh, price, rough prices. If I can, I'll put them in the comments below for you. But as it is, oh look, that's nice. I can see a sign for my accommodation. And it says only 50 meters. That's got to be good. So. Well, the sign said only 50 meters, and it was only 50 meters, but I managed to get lost. So about 250 meters later, I found my accommodation, and it's lovely. Come and have a look inside the room. It's quite simple, but it's spotlessly clean. Got everything I need, power points, comfy beds, um, an air fan and air con. Uh, you'll see the mantas on the, on the pictures on the wall, because this area is famous for the mantas that I hope to see. Let's go and have a peek inside the bathroom. Pretty much only cold water here, um, but it's so warm you don't really need much else. But nice basin, bathroom, shower. Again, just cold water in the shower, but it's not cold, cold. It's just like not hot. There we go. Look, background. As you can see, yep, yeah, soap and toilet paper also provided. Ah, this will do me for a few nights while I explore Nusa Panida and all the beauty. What I need, oh, I need two things now. Of course I need something to eat, but also I need to go and see some of the beautiful parts of Nusa Panida. So I think I'm going to have to go and rent a motorbike.